You know, I first began speaking on sexual assault and domestic violence right after my family suffered an incredible tragedy. And I could not save my sister. And so I decided to give speeches to save other sisters, other daughters, other nieces, other sons. I'm Janine Latis, and I am the author of the book, If I Am Missing or Dead, which became a New York Times bestseller, a London Times bestseller, a Toronto Globe and Mail bestseller, because the problem of domestic violence, of coercive control, is so insidious and so ubiquitous. People want to pretend that it happens to somebody over there, somebody of a different race, somebody of a different education level, a different socioeconomic class, a different religion. But the truth is, is that it's happening to all of us. Regardless of the audience, what I'm trying to do is to help people recognize the subtle signs of abuse. Abuse almost never starts with somebody slapping somebody or somebody punching somebody. It starts with insults, it starts with put downs. My new boyfriend, he made me better. Like when we would go to a party and we'd come back, he'd say, you do know your jokes aren't funny. So I learned not to tell jokes. And he said, you do know you laugh like a hyena, right? So I learned not to laugh in front of our friends. There's this wonderful tool. It's called the Duluth Power and Control Wheel and it's, and it's a pie chart and it depicts the various kinds of control. You know, sexual abuse, financial abuse, verbal abuse, all of the options are on this pie chart. And I suggest to people, print it out and now take a highlighter and mark through everything that is happening in your own relationship. Because when you see it like that, this page covered with so much highlighter, it's impossible not to recognize that this is actually happening in your own life. You know, when I'm talking to corporations, one of the things that they know is that domestic violence costs businesses about $12.6 billion a year. Victims lose 8 million days of work a year. That's like 32,000 full-time jobs. And then while they're there, they're distracted. The first time I was sexually assaulted, I was 12. Now, luckily, I was born resilient. I'm resilient, or I've had to overcome a lot of really difficult things, and therefore I've become strong. If you don't take away anything else from hearing me speak, I want you to really think about this idea that we need to talk, because the idea that what happens in the home stays in the home has gotten generations of women killed. I wanna be in front of every audience because I truly, honestly believe that we can save people with this message.